Hello and welcome to Learning BricsCAD. In this lesson we're going to be talking about creating and editing hatch objects. The first thing that we're going to do is zoom into one of these details here and we're going to be using the hatch command to delineate specific areas on the drawing. So clicking hatch on the draw toolbar will display the hatch and gradient dialog box. This dialog box is broken up into five main areas. For more information about each of these areas, you can look at the performance support content that's located on the tabs. To continue, the first thing that we want to do is locate and select the Earth 1 hatch pattern. Next, we're going to assign a scale value of 5 and then select the boundaries pick points option and select a point in the view as shown and then click OK. The hatch pattern is created. Moving over now to the next view, again we're going to repeat the command this time from the cursor or the quad cursor menu and this time selecting the gravel one hatch pattern leaving its value at five and setting the pick points and boundaries option and then again selecting two internal points as shown right click returns to the dialog and click OK to create the hatch patterns. Once more we're going to repeat the draw hatch command and select this time the earth one again and define its boundaries. Right click and press enter and then click OK. And Okay so now we have some uh, hatch patterns created. How do we edit these patterns? Very simply if you select one of these objects you'll notice that the properties appears on the properties palette and any of these non-read-only properties can be changed. So for example, if I want to change the scale value for this particular hatch pattern, just enter a new value in the properties palette and the associative hatch pattern will be updated. Okay, panning over to the um, top view, we're going to use a gradient pattern to add a decorative effect or a styling effect to uh, this particular view. So we're going to do a two color. We want index color number 251. And then for the second color, it's going to be index color number 43. So let's enter 43 in this field and click OK. And then you're going to want to make sure you choose the linear option. Again, select pick points in boundaries and then select the rectangular face illustrated here and now the gradient pattern is created. This completes the lesson on creating hatch and gradient patterns in BricsCAD.